Hello friends, welcome to your system fixer. In the video, I'll show you how to download and create the Tiny 11 ISO for Windows 11 25H2 preview. Although version 25H2 is not due until later in 2025, it is possible to create a custom ISO file using the Tiny 11 Builder. It is a script designed to customize and streamline installation of the operating system with the Tiny 11 ISO. You can run the operating system on lower end hardware and you can install version 25H2 on unsupported hardware. Okay, first, we need to get Windows 11 version 25H2 installation files. If you have joined the Windows Insider Preview Plan, you can directly download the 25H2 ISO from the official Microsoft, as I have explained in my previous video. If not, you can create the ISO file using the UUP dump script. To know more detailed steps about the Windows 11 25H2 ISO files downloading, please click the link above the video. Next, we need to download the Tiny 11 Builder from GuyThub. Open your browser and visit the Tiny 11 Builder page in GuyThub. You can click the link in my description area. Click the blue link of Tiny 11, November the 24th, zip, and select a location to save the file. After downloading the file, highlight the file in your file explorer. Click the three dot icon and choose extract all. Click extract to unzip the file. Then open the Tiny 11 builder main folder and you will find the two files, Tiny 11 core maker and Tiny 11 Maker that can be used to create the Tiny 11 ISO using the 25H2 preview installation files. The Tiny 11 Maker script is to create a Tiny 11 OS without these components, including Clipchamp, News, Weather, Spox, GetElp, and so on. And the Tiny 11 Core Maker will remove all the above apps and Windows Defender, Windows Update, and Winera. Now, let's start creating the Tiny 11 ISO using the 25H2 files. Here, I have downloaded the 25H2 preview version. Right-click the ISO file and select Mount. And make sure to note down the drive letter of the file. Now, we need to create the Tiny 11 ISO using PowerShell. Open it using the Windows search box and run it as an administrator. Now, on PowerShell, we're going to run this command. Set execution policy unrestricted to make sure that the script can run on the system. And then, we're going to type Y and enter to change the execution policy. Now, we can run the command to start creating the Tiny 11 ISO. Note that the path for the script and the actual name of the script, press enter. Here, you can copy the command in my description area. Replace the script path location and paste it in the PowerShell window. Now specify the drive letter for the mounted ISO. In my case, E and press enter. Then it starts copying the Windows image as shown. Now, confirm the index number for the addition of Windows that you want to use to create that tiny ISO image. Since we're using a custom ISO, also, we only have one index number. So, I am going to type 1 and then press enter. And now the tiny 11 script is going to process that ISO to create a new custom ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. This process can also take you some time. In my case, it takes about 30 minutes to finish. Now, it's done. Let's press enter to perform the cleanup, and then the tool is going to create a system log. So, we can open this log file using the run command pasting the path and the file name. 
And in here, we can see the whole process that the script has completed. Now the location for the Tiny11 ISO is going to be on the folder where you extracted the builder. Wow, it's right here. Then, you can mount it to a virtual machine for minimal install or you can create a bootable media with different tools such as Rufus to install version 25H2. I hope this video was informative for you. Don't forget to leave your comments, like the video, and share it. Subscribe to my channel to find out more Windows tutorials.